Hi everyone. Um, so this is going to be our um, one hour body weight uh, Pilates session. So mat Pilates uh, class. Um, so the only thing that you need, because we're just going to use our body weight today, is um, I like to use a block, Pilates block. Um, just it's, it's useful to put underneath your head so that you're not straining your neck if you know that you're a little bit tight in the thoracic spine. Um, but it doesn't have to be specifically a um, Pilates block. If you've got um, a little cushion um, or you can roll up a towel or anything just so that you know if you are uncomfortable when you have your head flat on the floor and you feel like you're overextending at the neck, um, then having something underneath your head, uh, which is about an inch or two, thick is really useful. Also, if you know you're tightening your hamstrings, it's quite nice to have it to sit on when we do our stretches um, nearer to the end um, of our spine stretch forwards and things. It's quite nice to um, have something to sit on to raise your um, seat bones to maybe make your pelvis and your back a bit more comfortable. But other than that, we don't need anything. We're just going to be using our own body weight to make us uh, work today. So um, we'll come into standing to start. Just hop over here so you can still see me. Good, lovely. So we're gonna start with a few roll downs. This is just an easy way to help mobilize the spine. So we're gonna stand first of all, make sure your feet are hip distance apart and parallel. So if you've got tight calves, it's easy to accidentally poke your toes out to the side. So just make sure that your toes are pointing directly forwards. Make sure you're not locking your knees. So you want to have just a very slight bit of softness at the knees here. And then we start moving the joints in the neck. So we're going to let our chin tuck in and try and feel the vertebra in the neck move. Then we can start moving our thoracic spine. So think of the vertebra between your shoulder blades starting to round and move. And then we can think of moving the joints in our lower back so you might just need to soften the knees a bit more to get that curving of the lumbar spine, feeling the joints in the lower back move. And then we think of folding at the hips, coming over our legs. So starting to feel more of a stretch for the back of your legs then. Again, don't um, hyperextend the knees. Make sure there is still a little bit of softness at your knee joint. Think of the weight being forwards on your foot so we're not rocking back onto your heels. And then on our next breath out, make sure you are still gently pulling your belly button in towards your spine. So gently engaging your core as we slowly come back through all those same positions. So rounded back, upper back, head lifts up last. I'll just show you from the side this time. And again, we start at the neck. So let your chin tuck in, stretching the back of our neck first. And then we're rounding, stretching between our shoulder blades. And then we're rounding the lower back. So remember, you might need to just bend the knees a little bit more to get a nice curve of your lumbar spine there for that have a stretch. And then we can think more of folding at the hips, coming over our legs, letting the back of the legs stretch. And then on our next breath out, we're pulling our tummy in to protect the spine. And we round the lower back and we restack the joints in the lumbar spine. And then in our thoracic spine. And then we restack the joints in the neck last. So we're going to roll down one more time and this time we're going to aim to get our hands all of the way to the floor. So you might need to keep the knees quite bent to get the hands down and then we're going to let our hands walk forwards and we're going to lower ourselves down onto our hands and our knees ready to go into our cat stretch from here. So still thinking about mobilising our spine. So just check your wrist is directly below your shoulder, your knee is directly below your hip, and then we're going into a rounded position of the spine. So we start thinking about our pelvis, so we're going to point our tailbone down towards the floor, then we're reaching our spine up towards the ceiling, and then we're going to pull our chin in. So you always want to think of pushing the pelvis forward, so don't let the bottom come backwards, but think of the pelvis coming forward, so we arching, rounding, stretching back, pulling the tummy in, and then we lengthen all of the way back into a nice straight line with the spine. And then we go again. So pointing our tailbone down in the direction of the floor, reaching our spine up towards the ceiling, pointing the crown of the head to the floor. Hold here for a breath in and pull the tummy up and in towards you. 
And then as we breathe out, we're going to lengthen all the way back into a straight line with our back nice and neutral back. And there we go again. So we're breathing out, rounding our spine. Breathing in, we hold here. And then as we breathe out, we lengthen all the way back. Straight line with our spine. Go one more time. Breathing out, we round. Breathe in, hold, point the tummy in. Breathe out all the way back into your straight line. And then we're going to carry on with that same movement, so that flexion of the spine, and then back into our straight spine. But we're going to add in a movement with the legs. We're going to reach our right leg back behind us. Now just make sure that your kneecap is still pointing to the floor, so we don't want to externally rotate and lift the leg too high. Thinking about pulling our tummy in, foot's just about in line with the hip, knee points towards the floor, so we're rotating the inner thigh inwardly. And then we're going to round our spine like we just practiced, but this time we're bringing our knee forward, scooping with the tummy, feel the abdominals wake up, and then we're going to reach in the leg behind us as we straighten. So we're going to breathe out as we flex, breathe in, lengthen, and again, breathe out, we flex, breathe in to lengthen, and again, breathe out, flex, breathe in, lengthen, and again, and lengthen, go there one more time, flex. Lengthen, slide your right knee down, and we're going to do the same thing with the left leg. If you do suffer with um, all the weakness in the wrist, if they get a bit achy, you can stop at any point, just give your wrist a circle. They get less painful as they get stronger. And then we're going to reach our left leg away behind us. And then we go again, so breathing out, rounding, breathing in, reaching behind. And again, breathe out, flex. Breathe in, reach the leg behind. And again, breathe out, flex. And reach. That same position we're doing before with our cat, rounding our spine. And then straight line. Two more. We reach back. One more time. And then we'll let our knee come down. Then we'll go into our shell. So we're going to round our spine. Take our bottom down towards our heels. Let our head sink forward. And again, I'm thinking of the joints and the spine just opening up, stretching. So you should feel a nice curve of your lower back there. The joints between the vertebra opening up. to our hands and our knees and we're doing one called thread the needle. So again wrists below, shoulders, knees below, hips and this is to again mobilise into our spine. So we're going to take our right hand and we reach it up towards the ceiling looking up towards that right hand so we're rotating up towards the right and then we rotate the spine the opposite way. The right hand goes behind the left arm we're going to let our left elbow bend. Think of your right shoulder coming all of the way down to the floor. And then we repeat. So we're going to breathe and we reach up with our right hand. And then breathing out, we rotate, letting our shoulder come all of the way down. And again, breathing and we reach our hand up. And then breathing out, we rotate down. And again, breathe in, reach up. Breathe out. All the way down. And again, breathe in, reach up, breathe out, down, and then we'll come back onto our hands and our knees, and we're going to do the same thing, but with the other side, so we're going to breathe in, reach the hand all the way up, breathe out, rotate, think of the left shoulder coming all the way down to the floor, letting the right elbow bend, and again, breathing in, reach up, and then breathing out, we rotate down. And again, breathe in, reach. Breathe out, rotate. Then last two. Breathe in, reach. Breathe out, 
rotate. Last one, reaching up. And rotating down. Go back up onto your hands and your knees. And again, we're going to round our spine, come down into our shell. So think of the bottom coming down towards your heels, rounding your spine, letting your head sink forward. And then we'll come down into line on our back. And we are going to have our head flat on the floor, so no uh, blocks or cushions underneath the head just yet. Because we're going to go into our hip rolls. So you want to have your feet about hip distance apart and parallel. So again, like we were doing our roll downs earlier, you don't want to accidentally turn the toes out. That normally happens if you've got a little bit of tightness in the calf muscles. So just be really conscious here that we've definitely got both sets of toes pointing directly forwards. So feet are parallel with one another. And then we're going to start with our arms down by our sides, nice and relaxed at the neck and shoulders. Then we're going to flatten our lower back down towards the floor. So think of imprinting. So bottom rib, top of the pelvis, gently sliding towards one another. We're going to tilt our pelvis towards us, lift just our pelvis off the floor. And then we're going to peel our spine up. So think of lifting one vertebra at a time away from the floor. We're going to go all the way until we're nice and extended at our hips, feeling our hamstrings, our glutes, our lower back, all waking up, tummy is working, we're definitely still gently pulling our abdominals in and then we slowly lower back down and again it's one vertebra at a time that we lower back down onto the mat and our pelvis comes down last and then we go again. So we flatten our lower back towards the floor, tilt the pelvis towards you, lift just the pelvis off the floor first and then we're lifting up one vertebra at a time all the way, so we're extending at the hips. Don't let the knees roll out to the side, that's an easy mistake to make, so make sure knees point directly forwards. And then we slowly lower all of the way back down, one vertebra at a time, pelvis comes down last. If you want to add in a little extra challenge, then we can reach our hands up towards the ceiling, so we've got them on the floor to help support us. So flattening our back, tilting our pelvis, Slowly lifting all of the way up. Breathe in, hold at the top. And then breathing out, we slowly lower all of the way back down. Pelvis comes down last. If you wanted to make it a little bit harder again, we're going to have our right foot off the floor in a tabletop position. Exactly the same movement with the spine, so flatten the back, tilt the pelvis, lift the pelvis off the floor first. Slowly peel the spine up. Breathe in, hold, and then breathing out. Same patrol on the way back down. So one vertebra at a time. Pelvis comes down. Last, let your right foot come down. Lift your left foot up. And again, so we flatten our back, tilt our pelvis. Lift up one vertebra at a time. Breathe in, hold at the top. And then breathing out, we slowly lower back down. One vertebra at a time. Pelvis comes down last, bring your foot down. We'll take our arms out to the side. We're going to glue our feet and our knees together. And let your knees drop over to the right. Keep your left shoulder glued to the floor. Turn your head, look over your left arm. Good, bring your knees back up. And then we're going to drop our knees over towards the left, but keep the feet stacked one on top of the other. Keep the right shoulder glued down and we'll just look over our right arm. Just stretch for the spine. Then we'll bring our knees back up. And then we're going into our one leg circle. So now is when you might want to maybe add something in underneath your head. So the block cushion towel. And when you would add it in is if you're a little bit uh, stiff in the thoracic spine, so if you're a bit stiff in the thoracic spine, thoracic spine sometimes we flex a little bit forwards with the upper back and then to compensate for that we have to overly extend with our cervical spine our neck to get our head down so if you ever feel like your chin has to poke up towards the ceiling to get the head down place something underneath your head and it will bring you back into a much more comfortable position 
Yeah, although you don't have to. I quite like having my head just flat on the mat, so that's also fine if you find that comfortable. And then we're going to lengthen our left leg along the floor. And we're going to reach our right leg up towards the ceiling. We want to check we're in a neutral position with our pelvis and lower back. So your pelvis is parallel to the floor and it's in neutral. And you have a slight uh, lordosis, so a little curve of your lumbar spine. So it's not completely squished to the floor, but there's a little space to squeeze your fingers. Um, if you can't get into that neutral position with your knee straight, if it's pulling your pelvis and it's flattening your back to the floor, then we can bend our right knee. If you still feel uncomfortable in this position, like you're not in your neutral position with the pelvis and the lower back, you can also do it with the left knee bent. Yeah, so either both knees bent, one knee bent, or both legs straight. So it's harder to squeeze both legs straight. And we want to keep our pelvis and our lower back in neutral, so squeezing of the tummy, tightening the core to make sure the pelvis and the lower back don't move. I like to place a little imaginary glass of water just below where my belly button is. I think about not spilling it as I circle my leg from the hip joint. So we're thinking of circling the right leg at the right hip, so nothing else is moving, only moving at the right hip joint. So you should feel your tummy working to hold the pelvis and your lower back nice and still. If it is too intense, if you feel like you can't hold the pelvis still, then again, we can bend our right knee. And there's two parts to this exercise. There's the mobility part where we're mobilizing into the hip joint. There's also the stability part where we're thinking about holding the pelvis and the lower back completely still. I'm going to reverse the direction, so we'll circle our leg the other way. So we're going to inhale for half a circle, exhale for half. Inhale for half, exhale for half. Okay, keep the tummy gently coming in. Keep the pelvis and the lower back still. Two more. Last one. And then we'll let our right leg lengthen along the floor. Remember, you can have the knee bent on the floor if you need to for a bit of extra stability. And then we're going to reach our left leg up towards the ceiling. And again, you can straighten the knee if that feels okay, if you can still hold your neutral, or we can bend at the knee. And then again, we're inhaling for half the circle, exhaling for half. Inhale for half, exhale for half. And relax at the neck and the shoulders. So don't grip and try and hold the pelvis and, and the back still, but oh, <laughs> squeezing in our arms. Let the arms and the neck be relaxed. And then we go the other way. Inhale, half exhale. Good, just three more. Gently hug both legs in. Let's have a nice little rock from side to side. Just want to massage into the muscles of your lower back. And then we'll go into ab prep. So we're going to bring our feet down to about hip distance apart on the floor, parallel again. And then ab prep, we want to be in a neutral position. And the reason we stay in our neutral position, we don't let our lower back come down into an imprint, is because when you're in that parallel position with the pelvis and that slight lumbar lordosis, it's the most efficient position to activate your transversus abdominis, that deepest layer of your tummy muscle, which is what we're trying to find with our ab prep. So do keep that curve of the lower back. Think about the pelvis not tilting backwards towards you, not tilting forwards away from you, but staying halfway between the two parallel to the floor. That's what actually makes this exercise hot, so don't forget about that. And then we're going to take our hands, place them behind our head, elbows point out to the side. And because we're holding neutral with our lower back, the lower back isn't going to move. We're just flexing the cervical and the thoracic spine. Okay, so the lower back stays neutral, the pelvis stays neutral, and then we're going to breathe in gently, lower back down. And again, so we're going to breathe out, just flex the upper back, lower back shouldn't have changed position. And then breathing in, we lower back down. And again, breathe out, lift. Breathe in, down. 
And we're going to make it a little bit harder as we breathe that lift. We're going to lift our right leg into tabletop and then we lower it down. And again, keep going the same leg. But don't forget, we don't want to tilt our pelvis. We want to keep our pelvis still. So it's the leg and the upper back that move. And then we lower. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, lower. Breathe out, lift. We're going to make it a little bit harder again if we want to have a knee straight. Lift. And lower, so it moves the pelvis. Lift and down. Lift and down. Just two more. And then we'll bend our right knee, place our right foot on the floor. We're going to do the same thing with the left leg. So again, tabletop. Keep that little space between the lower back and the floor. Lower back down. And again. Try not hold neutral. Lower back and pelvis don't change position. Flexing at the upper back. Flexing at the hip. But holding, stabilising the pelvis and the lower back. Good, if you want to make it harder, straight knee. Breathe out, up, breathe in, down. Breathe out, lift, and down. Two more. And relax. Well done. Okay, I'm going to come up into a seated position now. I'm going to do some half roll back. So I'm going to sit with our heels about hip distance apart and feet are parallel. Softness in the knees, don't have the feet too close to you though. Arms are reaching forwards, relax your shoulders down. So I want to think about moving the pelvis and the lower back again. So this time we're not stabilising and holding the pelvis still, we're not holding the lower back still, but that's what we're really thinking about, moving. So we're going to tuck our bosom underneath, we roll off the back of the seat bones, we're flexing our lumbar spine, we're pulling that tummy in, relaxing our shoulders, and then we're going to lift all of the way back up. So we're breathing out as we half roll back, and then breathing in, we lift back up. And again, breathe out, half roll back, and then breathe in, lift back up. And again, breathe out, half roll back. Breathe in, we lift up. And again, breathe out, half roll back. Breathe in, lift up. And again, half roll back. And lift. Good, now we're going to add in a rotation. So breathe out, we half roll, roll back. Breathe in, keep the legs still. Rotate, look at the hand. So don't let the legs do a wiggle. Pelvis stay still, rotate from the spine. We come back to face the front. We're going to rotate over to the other side. So again, look at the hand as you rotate. Come back, face the front, and then we lift all of the way up. And again, as we tuck our bottom under, we half roll back. Breathe in, we rotate, look at our hand. Breathe out, come all the way back to the front. And again, breathe in, we rotate, look at our hand. Breathe out, all the way back to the front. And then we lift up. Good, now again, we roll back. Breathe in, rotate, and then back to the front. And again, rotate, back to the front. Lift all of the way up. Good. This time we're going to half roll back. Relax the shoulders, pull the tummy in. We're going to think of the bottom stone tucked under. We're going to reach up with the arms, think of lengthening the upper back, but keep the bottom tucked under. And then we're going to reach our arms back down. And again, breathe in, reach the arms up. Think of lengthening the upper back, but keep the bottom tucked under. And then bring the arms back down. And again, breathe in, reach with the arms. And then down. Breathe in, reach with the arms. And down. Good, one more time. Breathe in, reach with the arms. Bring the arms down. Now stay in this half roll back position. Relax the shoulders down. Turn the palms down so they face towards the floor. We do five pulses with the palms facing down. Two, four, five, five. We're facing up to hundreds arms. Breathe out down. Breathe in up. Two, three, four. Each time you breathe out, scoop the tummy muscles in a little bit closer towards you. Breathe in, hold them there. Breathe that down, two, three, four, five, breathe it up, two, four, five, breathe that down, two, three, four, 
five, and then up, T. Keep going, down, T, three, four, five, and up, T. Four, five, down, T. Four, five, and up, T. Four, five, down, T. Four, five, keep pulling the tummy in. Last ten. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Lift all the way back up, fold forwards over the legs. Let the hands come down towards the feet. Let the head just relax forwards. Good, we'll lift up. And then we're going to do a full roll up. So we're going to straighten our legs. And we're going to let our arms reach forward. So just like we did for half roll back, we're going to go further this time. So we tuck our bottom under, rounding the lower back again. And then I want you to think of your lower back coming down onto the floor first. And then placing one vertebra at a time down onto the floor, shoulders come down, head comes down. And then we're going to reach the arms away above our head, but we're keeping the back of the ribcage pressed down into the floor, keep the tummy pulling in. We let our arms reach forward, we peel our head, peel our shoulders off the floor. We're peeling up one vertebra at a time, breathing out, rounding the spine. So don't collapse on the legs, you think of scooping the tummy in, coming up and over the legs, reaching in the direction of the feet and then we slowly roll back down and again we want to keep that control so thinking one vertebra at a time coming down onto the floor head comes down last back of the rib cage pressing down as we reach the arms away above our head we let our arms lift up peel the head and the shoulders off the floor pull the tummy in breathe out round up and over the legs reaching forwards breathe and we start to roll down Breathing out, we control it the rest of the way. We breathe in to start the movement. Breathe out, come up and over your legs. And then we slowly roll all of the way back down. And then again, breathing in, breathe out. Slowly all the way back down. Good, last one. Hold here. Let your arms gently lower down to get rid of the tension at the neck and the shoulders. In the back, have a nice stretch here. And then we're going to do a little bit of rolling. So we're going to start with our rolling like a ball. So we'll come and make ourselves a little ball shape to start with. So we want to tuck our heels in towards our bottom. Tuck our head in towards our knees, holding the front of our shins. We want to stay in that little ball shape the whole time as we roll. So don't kick the feet out, don't let the head drop down towards the floor. Think head towards the knees, heels towards the bottom. And then we breathe in, we roll back as far as our shoulders. And then we breathe out, we roll back up and we balance on our seat bones. And so it's a breath in to roll back to the shoulders. And then breath out to come back up and balance. Breathe in down. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, down. And lift. And lift. Good. Now, if you want to, you can carry on just like that. If you want to make it a little bit harder, we can go into our open leg rocker. So, just like the name suggests, we straighten our legs and then we open them. And we're holding more down towards the ankles at the back of the leg now and same movement we want to round our spine breathe and keep your head tucked in we roll back as far as our shoulders breathe out we roll back up and we balance we think of lengthening the thoracic spine but then we round our spine so breathe in roll back breathe out come up balance and again breathing in roll back just the shoulders breathe out lift up balance and then again, breathe in, roll back. Breathe out, lift up. Ooh, didn't think I was going to make it. And again, breathe in, roll back. Breathe out, come up, balance. One more time. Hold your balance. If you're doing open leg rock, we're going to bring our legs together. We're going to let go of our legs, reach our arms forwards, holding our balance here. If we were doing rolling like a ball, we're going to bring our feet up in line with our knees and then see if maybe you can reach your arms forwards as well. So finding your balance here, keep breathing. We're here. Good. 
Good, then we'll slowly lower our body down. Let your legs hug in. And then we'll just gently rock from side to side again, so massaging out our lower back. And then we're staying in line for a little while. We're going to do some exercise for exercises focusing on our core. So if you want to, then you know, earlier like we spoke about, if you're uncomfortable with the head flat on the floor, you can place the little block underneath your head, cushion, towel, whatever you're using. And the first one we're doing is it's a variation of single leg stretch, I like to call it dead bug. And we're gonna take our lower back down into that imprinted position again. So bottom rib sliding towards the top of the pelvis, so lengthening out the lower back. And you should have felt your tummy tighten as you did that, gently pulling the core in. And then we're going to lift our legs up into a tabletop position. So make sure you are holding that imprint the whole time. We're going to reach our arms up. So hands are directly above our shoulders, reaching up towards the ceiling. We reach our right leg out and our left arm reaches above our head. And then we bring the leg and the arm back to starting position. And then we're going to do left leg, right arm. And then we come all the way back to the starting position. And again, breathing out, we reach. Breathing and we come back. And again, breathe out, we reach. Breathe and we come back. So we're being really careful here that when we reach the leg, it's not tilting the pelvis forwards and arching our back away from the floor. And we're being really careful that the movement of the arm isn't poking our rib cage forwards and lifting our rib cage away from the floor. Yes, so we want to hold the ribs, the pelvis and the spine nice and still here, so stabilising our torso and we're just moving the arm and the leg. Breathing out as they reach out, breathing in as they come back in. Breathe out to reach out, breathe in to come back. Now you can carry on with this exercise or if you want to make it a little bit harder, we're going to move both arms, both legs, which is going to make the legs and the arms feel heavier. So keep that imprinted position, squeezing the tummy in, reach both legs, both arms, don't let the rib cage poke forwards, don't let the back arch away from the floor. And again, breathe out, reach both legs, both arms, breathe in to come back. And again, breathe out, reach, breathe in to come back. Breathe out, reach, and back. And back. Two more. Okay, the last one now. And rest. Good. Just gently hug your legs in. Another nice little rock from side to side. And then we're going to take our hands, place them behind our head, elbows nice and wide. Stay in the print, stay with the legs and tabletop. We're going to do a double leg reach again. So we're going to reach both of our legs away. And as we reach the legs, we're going to lift the head, lift the shoulders. As we bend the legs, we're going to lower the head and the shoulders back down. So breathe out, reach. Breathe in and we come back down. Breathe out, reach. Breathe in, down. And again, reach. And down. So as we reach the legs, scoop the tummy in. Do not let the tummy push out and down. We're trying to flatten the tummy as we work the abdominals. Two more. Last one. And relax, well done. So then we're gonna go into our leg scissors. So we're gonna reach our feet up towards the ceiling. If possible, we're straightening our knees. If that isn't possible, so if it's really uncomfortable for your hamstrings, let your knees bend. Now show you the straight knees first. So if you give a lot of tension at the neck, don't have to lift the head, you can keep the head and shoulders down. Otherwise, we lengthen the back of the neck, we'll lift the head, lift the shoulders off the floor. If we hold the back of one leg, we'll let the other leg hover just above the floor. We're gently pulling this top leg in towards us, but don't forget that lengthening that bottom leg away as well. Breathe in, the legs move together. Breathe out, we hover. Breathe in, switch over, breathe out, hover. Switch over and hover. Switch and hover. Now, if straight knees isn't comfortable for you, we can bend the knees, we can do toe taps. If you're feeling strain at the neck with this position, some of you do, let your head come down. Yeah, we'll still be working our tummy muscles in this position. 
or we can do it with straight legs in this position. Just two more. Well done, gently lower down. Okay, we'll release our neck this time. So let your feet come down to the floor and then just gently turn your head from side to side. And then we're gonna do a little rollover preparation and then we can go into our full rollover or variation of rollover if we want to. So the preparation, we will have both feet in the air, ankles crossed and a bit of a bend to your knees. And I want you to think about tilting the pelvis and peeling the lumbar spine off the floor and then lowering the lumbar spine and then letting the pelvis come back down. So we're trying to use those deeper lower tummy muscles when we're learning, we do sometimes feel like our arms are pressing and helping us. That's fine, as long as you're not taking so much tension with the arms that you end up with your head and your shoulders lifting off the floor. We're all tense around the neck and the shoulders. So try and keep the neck and the shoulders relaxed. Engage the tummy, peel your pelvis, and then the lower back off the floor. And then we're letting the lower back come back down, and then we let the pelvis come down. Now, if the lower back is stiff, this is a really difficult position to get into. So maybe it's just a really small tilt, which is fine. You still feel your tummy muscles working there. It's not up to the ceiling, so I don't want to see anyone doing that. Now we're reaching up. It's called roll over. We're rolling over. Eventually our feet are going to come all the way behind us. Yeah, we also don't want to just use momentum, so I don't want to see any swinging and plonking. You don't want to think, squeeze lift and then gently lower back down yes we're using the tummy to control the movement i'm going to breathe out as we lift breathe in gently lower and then again breathing out to lift breathe in to gently lower another thing to be aware of is don't turn your head so if you're not sure what to do turn your head and look at me first then when you know what you're doing look back to the ceiling because we have got a little bit of weight going into the head now. We don't want to be turning the head when we've got um, weight through it. Good, so if you want to carry on just doing the preparation version, we'll switch over ankles and carry on. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, we bring our legs into tabletop, we're going to reach our legs out to about 45 degree angle. And then we slowly draw the legs towards us, that same movement, peel the pelvis and then the lower back off the floor. And then we peel one vertebra at a time away from the mat. I think of our legs coming parallel to the floor, rounded spine. And then we can flex our ankles and maybe we can lower our toes so they tap the floor behind us. But don't definitely don't force that, that doesn't feel good today. And then we lift the legs back up to the legs are parallel to the floor again point your toes and then we slowly lower back down again we think of coming down one vertebra at a time pelvis comes down last and then we lower our legs back to about 45 degrees and then we go again so slowly drawing the legs towards us squeezing with the tummy lifting the pelvis and then thinking of peeling away one vertebra at a time legs parallel to the floor Flex the ankles, maybe the toes, tap the floor, bring the legs parallel to the floor again, point your toes, and then we slowly lower all the way back down, back to about 45 degrees. You can just do two more. Peeling the pelvis one vertebra at a time, parallel to the floor, flex, tap, hover. Point the toes, slowly rolling all of the way down, 45 degrees. One more time. Slow. So don't swing with momentum, it should be slow and controlled. Flex, tap, lift, point, slowly all of the way down. Back to 45 degrees. 
And we'll just bend our knees, hug our legs in. And then we'll come and lie on our front and we're going to do some back extension. So coming into lying on our tummy, and we're going to have our arms reaching out in front of us. Legs reaching way behind us. So I'm going to start with our legs about hip distance apart. And we're pushing our pubic bone down into the floor. We're pulling our tummy up and in towards us. Head and shoulders are lifted just off the floor. So don't have the head down and then try and lift the arms there. That tends to pinch it. So instead we've lifted the head, lifted the shoulders. Eye line is down, the back of the neck is nice and long. And again, I know I talk about it a lot, but when we lie on our front, don't push the tummy down into the floor. You end up arching, pinching the lower back, but press the pubic bone down. Scoop your tummy in and away from the floor. Lengthen, try and lengthen out the lumbar spine. And then from here, we're going to lift our right leg without our right knee bending. We're going to lift our left arm without our left elbow bending. And then we lower the leg and the arm down. And then we do the same thing with the other side. So we breathe out, we lift left leg, right arm. Breathe in, we lower. Breathe out, lift, breathe in, down. Now, I know when you look at this exercise, it looks really easy and you feel like you're not doing anything. But if you have any tightness in your thoracic spine, which a lot of us do, or in your shoulders, this is actually a really challenging exercise. Breathe out, lift. I want you to think of lengthening, so think of the right foot going back, left arm reaching forwards, rather than swinging up really high, it's more of that stretching out sensation. Okay, so try to stretch out the spine here. Breathe out, lift. Breathe in, down. Breathe out, lift. Down. Good, just two more. And relax. So we just have a little rock from side to side. So you can carry on like that, so do another set, just lifting the opposite arm, opposite leg. Those of you that want to do the harder exercise, are full swimming. Again, press the pubic bone down, pull the tummy in, hold that position so the abdominal is nice and strong. Lift both legs off the floor, lift both arms off the floor, and then we kick the arms and legs up and down. So we kick, two, three, four, five, and out. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, and out. In, two, Four, five, and out. Two, four, five, and ten. Two, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Gently lower down. Again, we'll rock our hips from side to side. We're going to do that one more time. But remember, you can do the preparation if you prefer. If this is too intense. So again, press the pubic bone down. Pull the tummy in. Lift both the legs. Lift both the arms. And we kick. Two, four, five, and out. And again, this one probably looks like it's really easy. But when you're doing it, you can feel it's actually quite challenging. In, two, four, five, and out. Two, four, last ten. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Lower down. And then we'll very slowly, very gently, we'll take a shell. Let our back open up the other way. So bottom down towards your heels. Round your spine, let your head sink forwards. And then we'll come back down onto our front. And we're going to do our swan dive preparation. So we want to take our feet out, so about mat distance apart. And we externally rotate. So we think of the toes and the knees starting to point out towards the sides. And we're going to bring our hands down. So they're also about mat distance apart. apart and they are in front of your shoulders. And again, press the pubic bone down, pull the tummy in. I know I whinge on about it, but really important to protect the lower back. So still pull the tummy in towards you. And then we want to slide our shoulders down. And we're going through a little bit of thoracic extension first. So we're going to lift the head, lift the shoulders, reach the sternum forwards, bottom rib stays on the floor. So that is into thoracic extension. Now look at my neck here. The back of the neck is long, but we don't want to have done this poke the head forwards, the chin forwards, and pinch in the cervical spine. So the neck actually stays neutral throughout. We then carry on lifting, pulling the tummy in. We come all of the way up, so the pubic bone will stay on the floor, but the top of the pelvis 
is actually lifted. Shoulders are down away from your ears, so don't push like that where you hunch the shoulders up and we force the elbows straight. There's still softness to your elbows. We're squeezing our shoulder blades together and down. We're letting our sternum reach forwards. And then we slowly lower all of the way back down. And then we go again. So breathing in, lifting up, keep the neck neutral. Lift the top of the pelvis. Tummy stays drawn in. And then we slowly lower all of the way back down. And again, breathing in as we lift up. And then breathing out, we lower. And if you can't go all the way up, if your back's feeling a bit stiff, that's fine. We can just come a little lift. And then down. You can only work with your own spinal mobility. That's a good you're still working on that, if that's something you're working on, then don't get cross, don't force anything. It will gradually get there the more you practice. Give it one more time. And then again, we'll bring our legs together and push back, coming into our shell, bottom down towards our heels, round our spine. Let our heads sink forwards. into a seated position. So we're going to sit with our legs out in front of us. And we're going to have our heels so they're about mat distance apart. And we're going to sit up nice and straight. Now if you're not comfortable in this position, it's called long sitting, it might be because you've got tight hamstrings, it might be because you have some tightness in the back maybe. So that is when, again, the block is quite useful. If you've got one, place it underneath your seat bones and it helps you to straighten up the pelvis. Or you can use a cushion or a rolled up towel. If you still feel uncomfortable in this position, if you feel like your pelvis is sort of being pulled like that, bend the knees. Because we want to, everyone wants to feel like they are sat up and they press their spine against a brick wall. That's how straight their back is. So we've got this imaginary brick wall behind us. We're going to let our arms reach forwards and then we're going to peel our head away from that imaginary brick wall. And then our shoulders and then our upper back. But our lower back and our pelvis are going to stay pressing into that wall. We're scooping our tummy and we're trying to round our spine as much as we can. Trying to feel a stretch somewhere along our back. And then we lengthen all of the way back up into a straight spine. And then we go again. So pulling our tummy in, pulling the head, and then the shoulders, the upper back away from that imaginary wall behind you, but keeping your pelvis and your lower back pressing in towards it. And then we lengthen all of the way back up. A straight spine. And again, breathing out, rounding forwards. Okay, breathe in, hold. And lengthen all of the way back up, nice straight spine. One more time, round, hold, lengthen all of the way back up. Let your arms come down, just give our shoulders a little circle. And then we're going to take our legs, our legs, our arms, these are your arms. We'll slide our shoulders down and breathe in and lift up tall. And we're going to breathe out, rotate as far as we can, but from the spine. So don't twist with the pelvis like that and let the legs move. Seat bones have to stay where they are. Legs stay where they are. We're just rotating our spine. We're going to breathe and lift up a little bit taller. Breathe out, rotate a bit further. And then we come all the way back, face the front. Then we go again and breathe in and lift up tall. Breathe out, rotate to the other side. But again, don't be tempted to shift the legs. Breathe in and lift taller. Breathe out, rotate further. And then we come all the way back. And again, lift up tall. Breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, lift taller. Breathe out, rotate further. All of the way back. And again, lift up tall. Breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, lift taller. Rotate further. All of the way back. If again, let your arms come down. Give your shoulders a little circle. And then we're going to let our arms reach back out. 
This time we're going to combine those two movements. So we breathe in to rotate, then we're going to flex our spine like we practiced earlier, so pulling in the tummy, reaching in the direction of your little toe, and then we lengthen all of the way back up, nice straight spine, and then we rotate back to face the front. Then we go to the other side, so we rotate on the breath in, pull in with the tummy, flex the spine, breathe out, reach towards your little toe, bottom stays still. We lengthen all the way back up, nice straight spine, we rotate back to the centre. And again, breathe in, rotate. Breathe out, we reach. Breathe in, lift up straight spine and centre. And again, rotate. And then reach. Lift up and centre. Good, just two more. Breathe in, rotate. Breathe out, reach. Lift up and centre. One more time, rotate. And reach. Lift up. All the way back to the centre, let your arms relax down and then we're going to bend our knees and we'll come up into standing and we're going to finish with the roll downs that we started with and hopefully this is going to feel easier than it did at the beginning because we are warm up now. So we're going to have our feet hip distance apart and parallel. We'll let our chin tuck in so stretching the back of our neck first and then we let our upper back Round and stretch. And then we let our lower back round and stretch. And then we fold at the hips, we come over our legs. So again, softness to the knees, weight slightly falls on the foot, don't rock back on the heels. And then we roll all of the way back up, so still pulling the tummy in. Gently allowing the head to lift up last. And again, so we let our chin tuck in. And we let our upper back round. We let our lower back round. We fold at the hips, we come over our legs. And take a nice deep breath in. And then breathing out. We roll all of the way back up. to lift up last. Okay, so this time we're going to stay at the bottom and we roll all of the way down. So we hold here and then we just gently turn our head from side to side. And then we can gently nod our head up and down. And let our head just hang. On your next breath out, we slowly roll all of the way back up into standing. Letting your head lift up last. We'll finish by testing our balance, so we lift up onto the balls of the feet. Let your arms reach up. Interlink your fingers, let the palms face the ceiling. Stretch up towards the tribe, fully straighten your elbows. Let your arms come down. Lower your heels, let your knees bend, so they're going to point in the direction of your toes. Press your heels down into the floor. Good, lift up. And you have finished, well done. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed that. So nothing but our body weight, so anyone can do this one at home. And uh, I'll hopefully load some more you on YouTube soon.